All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. What an amazing, awesome, just incredible day it's gonna to be today because you were born for greatness. You're doing the things that you should be doing in order to make a difference in people's lives. And so, uh, you know, we've been talking about do's and don'ts and the things that you need to do in order to become the person you need to be in order to do what God has put you on this earth to do. Or what do you not need to be doing in order to become the person that God wants you, uh, that God has put you on this earth to be able to do. And so, uh, thinking about, um, you know, some of the do's. And, and today I was thinking about service because the last few days I've been in positions. I was at the gym yesterday morning uh, and there was a gentleman who came in and he saw that the floor into in the sauna was dirty. And he went out and I guess he got in a little bit of an argument with the manager because all he wanted to do was mop the floor. He wanted to make sure that it was clean for everybody else. He wasn't worried about, you know, trying to get any accolades or getting any, you know, whatever, I guess, money or anything for doing it. He saw the need, took the lead, and then did what it takes. And they, you know, they were saying, well, you know, it's a liability issue and that kind of stuff. And I was just thinking, you know, if your willingness to serve is there and you can define what it is that service means to you, then you need to do it. I have so many people that say, when I get to, then I will, you know, so once I've made it then, then I'll serve others. Or, or once I've, you know, completed the things that I need to do, then I'll serve others. And if you have that attitude at first, if I'm gonna serve others, then I'll get done what's needed. You know, and, and as I was thinking, I was able to uh, just take a, a young man with me to uh, uh, to an event this weekend. Uh, you know, I work as a chaplain at the, at the rehab center and I was able to, uh, you know, he had gone home and, you know, just no one just, you know, felt in my heart that I just needed to spend some time. And so, you know, told his mom, hey, you know what? I just go ahead and drop him off. Uh, and he's still in a wheelchair. You know, you'll probably have to take him to the bathroom. You'll probably have to do some stuff with him. But uh, what an amazing day it was to be able to serve somebody like that. All right, so you guys have an awesome, wonderful, just incredible day today. Don't forget you are God's greatest gift and he loves you if you allow him to. We'll talk to you tomorrow.